Hello, I own a boat rental company and wanted to address uh, my experience with Marine Max as well as Harris Manufacturing. Uh, in 2000, we purchased or we ordered in January two uh, 25 foot, 150 horsepower tritunes. Now we had a specific design that we wanted on these tritunes. It was a U shape in the front, a U shape in the back, typical uh, pontoon rental layout, plus a front deck on the boat that was an extra couple feet. Uh, we needed that because we needed that space to store uh, boat toys and other items. Uh, we specifically ordered tritunes because they are safer boats. Fast forward, we ordered the boats in January. Uh, they were supposed to arrive in March. March 1st, we received a call, said the boats are not in. A couple days later, maybe around the 3rd of March, they said, quote unquote, uh, we lost your boats and wasn't sure exactly what that meant. We ordered two basically $45,000, $50,000 boats. Not sure how you lose $100,000 worth of boats, but they did. So um, a few days had passed and come to find out that the order wasn't actually placed. Um, not sure exactly what happened. Not sure if it was Marine Max's fault or Harris's fault for not putting the order in their system. So we received, we said, well, hey, we're a rental business. Our business starts in a couple days and we need, um, we, if we don't have boats, we don't make money. So they gave us two, honestly, junk loaner boats. These were boats that we had major issues with the entire season. We were appreciative that they gave us boats, but they almost cost us more problems than they were worth. Well, fast forward to um, July uh, 4th weekend. Uh, we were told they were coming in. Uh, we wanted the boats delivered by water and then the trailer delivered by land so that way we could break in the boats because it was 4th of July weekend and we needed to make sure the boats were broke in. So the boats um, arrived and um, the manager of Marine Max said, hey, what do you think? And I said, well, they're the right color, but they're not our boats. And he said, what do you mean? I said, these are 23 foot, um, 150 horsepower sport tunes. Now, if you don't know what the difference there is, a sport tune is uh, two main tunes on either side and about three quarters of a tune in the middle. Now we live in an area where we need full 25 foot tritunes. Uh, our water can be rough at times and we need, the tritunes are a more, a safer boat. Uh, they are more buoyant. Uh, they handle um, the current better. Um, uh, not only that, the layout was completely wrong. They had more of a recreational layout where there was a couple seats face backward uh, and there was no deck on the front of the boat. So they were completely, the only thing that was right about them was the color. So we contacted, uh, we asked, we, the manager said, well, what do you want me to do? I said, well, I want my boats, obviously. I, I don't want these boats. These are not my boats. I have specific needs, uh, safety needs. The, the other thing is they were 11 passenger and I ordered 12. So we called uh, Harris Corporation and they said, okay, here's what we're gonna do. It was uh, 4th of July weekend. They said, we're gonna uh, call you back Monday after 4th of July weekend just use those boats for now. We know you need them. Uh, so we used those boats over the weekend. We were told, I think her name was Sydney or something like that, was one of the um, managers of Harris Corporation. She said, we are gonna do our best to try to get you boats in two weeks. And I said, well, it took you guys almost seven months to produce these. How do you think you can get them in two weeks? Uh, well, we had ordered them in January and they had to reorder them in March. So. She said, well, if we can get all the supplies, we can make it happen. So two weeks passed, nothing. They continue to tell me that they're gonna produce these boats um, through emails, text, phone conversations. Um, by the end of July, I received a, an email from one of the managers saying, I don't know why, I think it was Sydney, uh, told you that we can produce boats that quickly. That's not possible. We've never done that before. Uh, we are working diligently to, uh, get you replacements, um, a month, another month passed, two months passed, probably 30 pages of correspondence back and forth, uh, promising that they're gonna get our boats. Um, they even ask us questions like, how do you want them delivered? Uh, very specific questions. Uh, in the meantime, while all this was happening, they held 
the titles for these two boats, the two boat, two quote unquote, I guess you call them loaner boats. They held the titles. Um, now I wanna say this, the boats that we ordered and the boats that we received were about $7,000 less a boat. Now they claim that the, the different configuration of the seats was more expensive, but we, don't, we didn't want that configuration anyway because we can't have our guests facing the engine. So um, they, so basically the boats we ordered were between five and $7,000 more than the boats we received. Um, month passed nothing, two months passed nothing, three months passed nothing. I warned them, I said, if I don't get my boats or something by October, around October 1st, I'm gonna have to hire an attorney. Um, we never got our boats. Correspondence stopped. We were told that since we were in litigation with them, that once we got in litigation with them, that if we sued them, that they are no longer going to warranty, uh, honor the warranty because they said it, um, for whatever reason, a lawsuit makes that warranty null and void. So here I am, this is 2000 when this happened, we hired an attorney, spent about $20,000 with an attorney only to be drug out forever. Uh, and here we are, in 2024, I've lost over probably close to $200,000 in rentals because of those boats. And here's why. They sent us 11 passenger boats. Um, not only were they were 11 passenger, they were sport tunes and not tri tunes. A sport tune can't handle the weight that a tri tune can. So we were only able to put about eight people on that boat comfortably. They said they were 11 passenger. Matter of fact, when we told them, hey, we need 12 passenger boats, they wrote us back and said, we'll send you 12 passenger stickers to put on those, which I'm not sure was even legal um, for them to put a 12 passenger sticker on an 11 passenger boat, but that's what they did. Uh, we did not, every now and then we would put nine or 10 people on it if it was children. But for the most part, that boat could not withstand any more than eight people. The reason we lost so much money is most of our clientele is 10 to 12 clients. Uh, we do a lot of bachelorette parties, family gatherings, corporate events, those kind of things. And we need 10 to 12 passenger boats. The other thing that we lost money on was the fact that we didn't have the front deck, the extra front deck. Um, that deck is where we put floating pads, uh, paddle boards, coolers. Well, the coolers typically stay inside, but the idea is that gave us extra room. Um, we had, um, we actually had people that we had hired. We had a marketing program um, with a very famous person that was gonna come on these new boats. They got on the boats, they were not happy. Uh, they wouldn't do the advertising. Uh, it was a combined promotion. They wouldn't do the advertising. When they saw the boats, they didn't, didn't like them. Well, we ran those boats, those loaner boats for, um, they kept the titles uh, for over a year because they, but then later they claimed that we ne they never promised me any boats. Uh, I've got tons of correspondence I probably should put in this video to prove. Uh, not only did they say they were gonna get us boats, but they, they said that they asked for how they should deliver them. So it was very specific about uh, how the boats were gonna be received. Um, we ran end up running those boats for two years because we never got our replacement boats. Um, I will say this, if you're interested in a Harris boat, don't buy a Harris boat. Uh, these boats have caused us nothing but troubles. We finally had to sell them and we sold them for, we just had to get rid of them almost because they were junk. Uh, Harris does not produce a good quality boat at all. Uh, there are a lot of rental companies that use them because they're inexpensive. But I think if they did the math, they would find out uh, long-term they are a junk boat. They're not, uh, you spend more money in repairs. We had, this time now I have, I run Avalon boats and what's interesting, I have uh, 12 boats. I spent more money on maintenance on two boats, two Harris boats than I have all 12 of my Avalon boats. So the tunes cracked, uh, electric, electrical issues constantly, um, radio issues constantly, um, you name it, uh, something was always wrong with those boats. Uh, so I, wanna, I wanted to put this out there because I, I feel like 
um, you know, here we are. I spent twenty thousand dollars in legal fees, which was sad because had they just refunded the money or given us the correct votes, we'd have been fine. But they didn't. So my challenge for you, um, I think Marine Max from a um, from a large boat man, uh, dealer, yacht broker, they're probably fine. But as a, a boat uh, dealer uh, from a pontoon perspective or a smaller vessel, not who you want to go with. Uh, I'm not, honestly, I'm not sure who to blame for this. Harris is the one that said they were going to replace the boats. Uh, Marine Max said they were going to be involved. Uh, so I'm not sure if it's really Marine Max's fault or Harris's fault because I'm not really sure who didn't receive the order from the first place. You know, if Marine Max didn't send it to him or Harris lost it. Now we never, that never got communicated to us. Um, one that way or another, they never got the original order. So my challenge is to never buy a, uh, um, a Harris boat. Um, in particular, it's Harris that we've, we've spent the most time with trying to get these vessels. Uh, they've denied our claims. They denied our, any, um, they wouldn't provide again the um, warranties on them because we were in litigation with them or a lawsuit with them. So anyway, I want to post this uh, to warn people. Um, I know some people are going to give negative comments. Uh, if you're in my situation, I've worked diligently to try to resolve the issue. Hundreds of phone calls, emails, text, uh, going so far as litigation. Uh, I would not um, uh, invest in either one of the two companies. Uh, we had some um, Harris is owned. Uh, they they manufacture other type boats, and I will say that everything we've experienced with them has not been good. I would not buy any Harris made product or any of their divisions either. So thanks for watching, and um, uh, appreciate your time.